can you convert to become a Hebrew Israelite? Is that something you can join? You can't convert and become a Hebrew Israelite because uh, being a Hebrew Israelite is a birthright. It's way more than just, you know, a uh, peoplehood. That's absolutely right. You can't last minute convert to be an Israelite, okay? <laughs> we, we all know that it's the children of promise, which is counted for the seed, okay? So if you ain't on that 12 tribes chart, you are not a Hebrew Israelite and you cannot convert to become a Hebrew Israelite. We have to understand that the Most High is coming back for his children and his children only, which are the children of Israel, okay? That's all you so-called Blacks, Mexican, and Native Americans. But here's a precept. This is Matthew 15, verse 24, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. But he answered and he said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, is coming back only for the children of Israel. So you can't have lived your whole life being wicked and rape, rob, and murder and slaughtering the children of Israel and think last minute that you can convert to become a Hebrew Israelite so that you could be saved. It don't work that way. This is Joel 2 and 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else and my people shall never be ashamed. So the Most High, he is in the midst of Israel, the children of Israel only. If you are not an Israelite and you trying to convert over to be an Israelite, you can't do that. You can't do that. Cause we know the children of promise is dealing with that chosen seed coming straight out them 12 tribes. So all those that are not Israelites, you know, in the kingdom, you coming as bond man and bond woman, as servitude, as servants, of the children of Israel, okay? And with that being said, knowing that you're an Israelite is not enough. You can know all day that you're an Israelite, but what does that mean if you're not being obedient and keeping law, statutes, and commandments? You see? This is Deuteronomy chapter 10 and 12. It says, Now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul? So in order to serve the most high, we have to be obedient to what he is telling us that we should be doing as the children of Israel. So you finding out that you're an Israelite, that is not enough. You need to begin to convert your spirit in obedience of the most high. That means the most high, he gave his children a, a, a Levitical law, a special diet that we should be following. So you shouldn't be eating swine, swine's flesh, touching swine's flesh. If you don't know what swine is, it's pork. It's an abomination to eat pork in an Israelite. You have to put down the pork, crab, lobster, shrimp, okay? All these foods are abominable and it's transgression against your God, Yahweh. So as an Israelite, you have to change up your diet, okay? You have to begin to love your people. You can't hate your people and be an Israelite. You have to love your people. That was commanded. That's one of the second greatest commandments, okay? The women have to return and get back in order. You know, you can't just be willful like how um, in this kingdom they promote the so-called black woman to be willful, outspoken, and to do whatever her heart desire tells her to do. That's contrary to what the Most High God is saying the daughters of Zion should be. So the women have to repent and get back in order. You know, uh, we have to begin to keep Sabbaths. You know, the world taught us, Christianity taught us the Sabbath was Sunday, which is the biggest lie because how can Sunday be the Sabbath when we know that that's the first day of the week? No, it's the seventh day. We observe Sabbath from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Now, if that's not when you keep it, keep it when you keep it. But the Sabbath is the seventh day. We keep it Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That's the Sabbath. During that time, you're not supposed to be buying, selling, cooking, working or any of that on the sabbath it's the most high holy day that's his day he commanded the children of israel to keep the sabbath and to keep it holy this is exodus chapter 20 and verse 8 it says remember the sabbath day to keep it holy six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work but the seventh day is a sabbath of the lord thy god in it thou shalt not do any work 
thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So that's commanded by the Most High. We have to keep the Sabbath, okay? So start there. Finding out you are Israelite is not enough to get salvation. You have to be obedient and begin to keep law, statutes, and commandments so you do not be destroyed here with your enemy. Shalom.